So this is just a really quick video on the P1 parameters, what you can and can't change and how to change them. So let's dive right in. So first we're going to turn on the P1 by holding on the power button. And then to go into the parameter settings, you hold mode and the power button for a few seconds until P0 shows up like that. To scrub through the different parameter numbers, you just press mode. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and back to zero again. So what we're gonna do is scrub through the different parameter settings, and I'm gonna tell you which one does which, which ones you can change, and which ones you can't change. P0 is wheel diameter, you need to leave that as, as it is. P1 is the voltage, do not change this one. P2 is motor settings, again, don't change that one. P3 is speed settings, which can't be changed. P4 is changed from miles per hour to kilometers an hour, which can be changed. P5 is a non kick start or a kick start, so that can be changed. A P6 is cruise control on and off, again, that can be changed. P7 is power start or normal start, that can be changed. P8 can't be changed. P9 is non-electric brake or electric brake on. If for instance you do want to change a parameter that can be changed, for instance P4, all you have to do is go onto the number, press the power button until the little number at the bottom starts. Now P4 is changing the speed from miles per hour to kilometers an hour. Let me just go back on that again. Again, press that and you can either choose zero or one. So at the minute zero is kilometers an hour and one is miles per hour. You can see that changing on the left hand side there. So we'll leave it at miles per hour and then when you're done, you can just press and hold the two buttons and now that is set. Now the reasons there are parameter settings that exist that we suggest you do not change is because they can alter critical aspects of the scooter. So P0, for example, alters the wheel diameter. So it's essentially telling the scooter how big the wheels are. Now all the P1s come with the same size wheel. So if you change it, the scooter is going to think it has a different size wheel on and it's going to react differently, which is what you don't want. Hence why we say not to change it. And the same with P1. So if we just go on to P1, this is all about the voltage. Again, if you dive into this and start playing with the settings, you're going to tell the scooter it's got a different size battery, which is what we don't want. And the same goes with P2, P3, they can't be changed. P8, that can't be changed as well. But the rest of them all can be changed. Now, all of the different parameter settings are in the instruction manual and they all have a description of what they do. So please refer to that before changing any parameters on this scooter, because like I said, it can alter critical aspects of this. So just be hesitant, read the manual, read up on what all the parameter settings do. And if you're unsure, contact us on our social media. I hope you found this video helpful. And like I said, if you're not sure about changing some of the parameter settings, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us via our social media channels. Also, please refer to the manual. It says in there what all the different parameters do. And again, if you're not sure, just drop us an email or get in touch with us via our social media. Thanks again.